It is finally happening. Paradox has announced that in the upcoming DLC, Roads to Power, they will finally let us play as unlanded characters, letting us experience Crusader Kings 3 as an explorer, an adventurer, or even a wandering sellsword. But Coifish doesn't want to wait until quarter 3 to play as an unlanded character, so I will instead be playing it right now. Are you serious? I'm going to play Rags to Riches, a Crusader Kings 3 mod that lets you play as an unlanded character. Now to even get this mod to work is absolute shadow magic. It crashes often and you have to pass time by manually clicking F11. But by god, I want to be unlanded and I want to be unlanded now. So meet our starting character, Lilleman Lowborn. Hello. A deviously minded dwarf man. Although his stature is small, his ambitions are absolutely immense. This man wants to become King of Sweden. So we'll start by figuring out how to read. I couldn't reach up to the library shelf, so I can't get the books down. But I can look for a job. And it will be a glorious shop assistant. Listen, it ain't much, but it's actual honest work. Are you kidding me? I was killed during a raid! But luckily, you can save in this mod. Isn't this the true experience of playing as an unlanded character? You don't have the safety of a lord. Lilleman was literally picked up by a viking raider and tossed into the ocean. So if that said, let's try living again. And this time, we get offered the job as a beggar. Away with you, vile beggar. Hey buddy, I'm used to that a beggar, okay? Just let me beg. A beggar? More like begging for my life over here. Eric the Heathen is launching an attack on the king of Sweden. It's the two Eriks fighting each other. Listen buddy, I'm staying out of this. All all I care for is to beg for my little gold. And who knew that the way to becoming king of Sweden would be to become a thief? For if I'm to steal the throne, I need to start learning how to steal anything. Wait, I can pickpocket? Oh, this is so risky. I gotta live boldly. To heck with it. Lille man doesn't know where to put his hands. He's starting stealing. Oh, he's stealing. Stop right there, criminal scum. Oh. Oh, busted! Well, little man, I guess this is where it ends. But little man danger is my middle name. I am once more a free man. Can't keep a good man down. Can't even keep a dwarf in the prison. But with that said though, we should probably leave Sweden. We have a bit of a bad reputation here. And there is a new absolutely bustling court over here in King Harald's new Norway. So we'll move there instead. I now live in Nidaros. And I can search for a job here. Listen, as fun as it was to be a thief, it's not worth it if I'm just gonna get arrested. So I'll start cleaning the halls. The great mead halls. And I guess I'm doing my first shift. As a janitor! Listen, it ain't much, but it's all this work! Spending my days just cleaning, it's not exactly the glamorous Crusader Kings gameplay, but it is Crusader Kings gameplay! But I guess it's time for me to take another shot at figuring out this whole reading thing. Yeah, but it ain't happening. I'm not that smart. I'm a janitor. I'm a dwarven Norwegian janitor. Help! Just give me another job! <laughs> Please! What? I'm the royal janitor! No longer am I cleaning the mead halls, I'm cleaning right up next to the king! I'm like a medieval Roomba! He doesn't even see me if he doesn't look down! Do I get paid more? Nope! Same old pay! As I'm cleaning the halls, I'm sort of brushing up against the man's leg and I go Hello there! Do you like war? We should speak more! Hey, he's starting to actually like me a bit more! Perhaps I can join his court in the next, you know... 10 years or so. We managed to sway the man we're cleaning for and we can finally join the court. Yes, there I am, that's me. I'm in the list, I made the list. Hey, listen, if that ain't a comeback story, I don't know what is. Work hard enough as a cleaner and one day you will be rewarded. What's this? I've, I've worked so hard as a royal cleaner and all I get is taxes? And I can petition my liege to put me on the council. Do it. I'm the spy master of Norway. <laughs> but it doesn't help me in any way. I mean, yeah, it's very impressive. I know how to read. Let's go. Now with the ability to read, I can proclaim nobility. I just need a little bit more money. So by my calculations, I'm going to have to do one more shift of cleaning. I'm investigating for my liege. And I learn all sorts of secrets! Of course! Because I'm the sneaky secret man! Listen, little man, we've come a long way from two shows, I'll tell you that! And my last shift as a cleaner! I now have two options. I can proclaim nobility, 
and establish a house, making me a lesser noble. Or I can just buy a house, meaning I won't have to be homeless anymore. Become lesser noble? Buy a house. Lesser noble? Buy a house. That's it, I need the house! I'm a homeowner! But with that said, I'll stop being the royal cleaner. I need a better job, a shop assistant. Now that's perfect. Tell you what, I'll do it. I'll sell my house for the same amount that I spent on it. And I'll proclaim nobility. That's right, I'm buying the right to be a noble. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of that scam established titles. When they were selling trees in Scotland and, and claiming you could become a noble by buying a tree. Nobility, here I come. My rise to power has begun. Perhaps they can be treated with a bit more respect. It also does mean that I don't have a house. Uh, which should be fine. I'm still young and healthy. I can be homeless and a noble. After having spent 12 years as a peasant, a beggar, a thief, a janitor, a royal janitor, and now a shop assistant, I managed to convince my dear friend, King Harald, to make me a steward, which has made me trickle up my gold immensely. With this gold, I will now be able to buy a house and make a farm. If that wasn't good enough, I'll also set up a little shop. From here, I can sell my local produce and earn even more gold. I'm gonna be rich in no time, and I'm promoted to become a shopkeeper. Now this gives me two stewardship perks. We'll pick up golden obligations, and it's my domain. With these, I'll be able to make even more money. You see, I used to be the spy master. I can now blackmail people that I figured out secrets from. And from here, I can demand payment and earn ridiculous amounts of gold. But I'm at I'm being harassed because I'm Swedish in Norway! And through extensive blackmailing of a few Norwegians, I can now hire shop assistants. Damn, little man, you're becoming a big man in the whole scheme of things. You know, for being a dwarf and all. Even more blackmailing later and I can hire even more employees. A massive workforce. And when I sell produce, I can get a whole bunch of gold. Oh damn it, I love making money, I love making money, I love making money. Capitalism, capitalism kings three. This guy works, this guy works really hard. I sold my mansion and with a thousand gold in my pocket, I left the court of King Olaf back to Sweden. Little Lilleman the noble had had enough. He would either buy a claim with his massive fortune or seize it by the means of hiring mercenaries. What? why? Why would you? He just gives me a title? What? You grant me the noble duchy? I'm a dog! Let's go! I don't know where I landed! I can petition the leech? Hey, give me more development! <laughs> and a son! Little Gregor! Gregor, my boy! We need an alliance with the Söderöjar! We're a small noble house, but we will push through! We will claim Sweden! It will be ours! What happened to my mansion? Did he steal? Did he straight up steal my mansion? Homeboy legit gave me a rebrew and you said, hey, who ruled this now? Huh? But, but the game is like playing itself. I'm not picking this. I didn't decide to sway Anders. Look, Lilleman has gained power. What on earth is going on? The, ga the game is playing itself. No, stop. <laughs> what? Opportunity fate? What? He's raising his troops. Well. I guess there's one thing to be said. All we can hope for, for the upcoming DLC, is that we actually get to play the game ourselves. And it should be said that there's obviously something that has gone a bit of awry with this mod. So perhaps this is where we'll end it. Having proved that, yeah, it is possible to play as an unlanded character in Crusader Kings 3, but perhaps we'll just wait until quarter 3 and play with the upcoming DLC. But I hope you liked this absolutely chaotic unlanded adventure. And if you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, please Paradox, don't mess up the unlanded DLC. <laughs> Yay!